love a sister who is in Christ differently from how you would love a woman of the world. And I submitted to the teaching for several months and uh, on 5th of June 1993 I got married in holy matrimony to a female wife. I have to make it very clear. <laughs> yeah. She's called Jennifer. She's my honey, my sweetie, my baby, my lollipop, my sugar. She's my Yamachoma, my Novita, because she takes me higher, praise the Lord. She's a prayerful woman of God. We've been married. Actually, next week we are celebrating 29 years of marriage. Hallelujah. Uh, I love her very much. She's the mother of our four children Jessica, Janice, Joash, JCL. <laughs> Amen. So, Jonathan, Jennifer, Jessica, Janice, Joash, JCL, we love Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, this is my, I think, probably seventh or eighth time to be in Kist. Uh, we have been good friends for many years. Uh, so, you know, different groups we have had fellowship with, we have known each other. And uh, in fact, now I'm even working with some of your alumni in uh, creative ministry. I'm grateful to God for them, Kina Sam, Kina Pato, Kina Innocentia, and others. So we are grateful to God to serve the Lord together. Amen? Amen? I love the youth very much. I have a burden for young people. I'm not very young myself. And next, next month I'll be turning 54. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, um, but uh, I will never leave the youth nor forsake them. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll teach them what I have, what God has blessed me with, what experience I have. I'll stand with them when they are going through difficulty and challenges, those that come across my way. So I'm committed to God to help the young people. So I always honor every invitation to young ministries, young institutions, schools, universities. I think I have been to more than, more than 50 universities in Kenya. Hallelujah. <laughs> many colleges, many polytechnics, probably 500 high schools, hallelujah. <laughs> I've done a lot of ministry among the youth and uh, I'm so glad to be able to do that. Amen? My YouTube channel is the one you can see there. Oh, okay. What happened? You can return it. Or did it change? Oh, yes. Jonathan Steve Mwangi is my YouTube channel. Praise the Lord. I know some of you are uh, subscribers of popular musicians and popular artists and entertainers. But I want to urge you, please, in case you find us genuine servant of God that's doing a good job, subscribe to their channel. Because when they get to a thousand subscribers, they can do live stream. Hallelujah. And uh, in time, they can be able to grow and grow and impact the earth more effectively. So it is my humble appeal that you can choose to subscribe to that channel. It will boost my numbers. It will help me be more effective. It will help me to grow the audience I can reach. And I believe what we have to offer is sound teaching. So today I want to speak to us about religion in music. And uh, the main thought, the main thought is this, testing every spirit behind music. Today we have done a lot of dancing, singing, jumping. I've enjoyed myself thoroughly. Hallelujah. Amen. When I'm around young people, I feel young again. Amen. <laughs> I was very, very energetic 
and powerful ministry of skit and dance. We thank God for that, which you are doing creatively. God bless you. So if you have written down the topic, all oh, right, many of you don't write notes, eh? Let me challenge you, please. When it comes to the things of God, write notes. Otherwise, you will forget. Hallelujah. The same way you have to write notes in, uh, in your school, in your diploma, your degree, whatever you do here. S handle it the same, with the same seriousness. Praise the Lord. Huh? as if you were. So this is what we want to talk about. There is a religious angle to the music that we listen to today. And maybe you are not aware, but every musician has a religious persuasion. Praise the Lord. Even if they are atheists, which means they don't believe in God, they believe in something. <laughs> we call that religion. Are we together? And everybody is trying to win the world to their religion. <laughs> Am I clearly communicating? So the entertainment is not just to get you to jump and dance and have good time and smile and laugh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Every musician, entertainer and all these people, they have an agenda. I want to say the same thing about movies. How many of you have heard of movie, a movie franchise called Mission Impossible? Put your hand up. Be honest. Yeah, we are youth, we know. The main actor and director is called Tom Cruise. Huh? They have Mission Impossible up to six, I think. I can see the way you are smiling, you know what I'm talking about. That guy is a Christian Scientologist. So he believes in science and Christianity combined together. And he deliberately brings in funding from his church into his movies. Him and Will Smith have donated a lot of money to build a Christian Scientology church in Hallingham, Kenya, Nairobi. <laughs> they are so serious about their religion, they recruit some of their actors from church. <laughs> Because they want to perpetuate and extend the message of Christian Scientology. And if you look at the acting script that they have, many times they use lines that are famous in the Christian Scientology movement. Praise the Lord. How many of you know Jay-Z and Beyonce? Put your hands up. Wow. Either you are very big liars... <laughs> Or you are just afraid to put your hand up. Beyonce is a Freemason and her husband. They believe in devil worship. So that comes through in their music, their videos, their dressing, their. <laughs> and I, you may be offended, but I will give you evidence. I like to use scripture and evidence exhibits hallelujah <laughs> to make my point clear one of the men who has influenced our current politics right now is dead he's been dead i think for 39 or 40 years his name is bob marley um azimio uh, singing the song one love one heart let's get together and feel all right a wiper boss Kalonzo Musioka is singing Buffalo Soldier <laughs> Train like a Rasta <laughs> Oh, you the Buffalo Soldier <laughs> In the heart of America <laughs> And before that, the BBI song Which one was it? <laughs> Who can remember the BBI song? <laughs> eh? Sorry, it's Kim Tumoja Nobody can stop reggae. So our whole political landscape is being influenced by one musician. Does he have a religion? Yes. Do I have evidence? Yes. And so there's a religious 
um, end time aggression <laughs> to capture the mind of every one of us and take us a certain religious direction. So we are going to do scripture first and then we are going to get into evidence. Are you ready? Mwambie jirani yako maze hii ni revelation bwana jipange wewe. Eh mwambie mwingine huyo vuta yeri o jujo. Eh basia vitu stuke. Sawa sawa. So the first scripture we are reading is in 1st John chapter 4 verse 1 not the gospel of John but the epistles of John. This is 1st John 4:1. This is what it says. Beloved, do not believe which is the word in Greek pisteo. Pisteo. Do not believe. Pisteo means confidence. Don't have confidence. Don't trust in. Don't have convictions about every spirit. You have to be careful. You have to choose. The same way we choose what we eat. We choose what we wear. We choose what hairstyle we have. You have to choose carefully what you listen to when it comes to music because music was created in heaven in the form of Lucifer, the angel who was charged with worship ministry in heaven. And it was not created here on earth. So it is very spiritual. Music is very spiritual. Bwana asifiwe. So it continues to say there Do not believe every spirit speaking through a self-proclaimed prophet. This is religious. This is prophetic. Instead, test every spirit. The word here is peirazo in Greek. It means check the quality, check the validity, check the origin. Praise the Lord. <laughs> check the spirits to see whether they are from god because every music we listen to has spiritual influence amen. amen because many false prophets and teachers have gone out into the world second scripture first john chapter 5 verse 19 same same epistles and this one is saying we know that we are the children of god those of us who are born again and that the whole world is under the control <laughs> of the evil one this is the bible speaking not me the bible and i tell you for sure look at the world and the way it operates now and you see evil is really prominent am i right people right now we have a guy called vladimir putin who wakes up one morning and he just decides ah ukraine is in the way and he starts attacking and nobody is doing anything to him <laughs> eh? in fact he is like judging the others who are trying to say he is doing wrong <laughs> this is this is the world that we live in under the control of the evil one the evil one is lucifer i call him ole shaitani wakimunya aka jatien the devil Another scripture, Second Corinthians 11:14 to 15. This is a very important scripture. This is how he operates. This is his modus operandi in the earth. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Masquerades, puts on a mask, pretends to be someone he is not. And he he goes for light. Why? because his name lucifer in hebrew means light bearer so he tries to be what he was originally meant to be in heaven but then his reality is that in trying to away to take people away from the bible and god he is the prince of darkness so darkness is a result of attempting to find the truth without the word of god That is how you become dark in the inner man. Verse 15. It is not surprising then if his servants also the Beyonces, the Jay-Zs, the Bob Marleys, the Who's the Who's masquerade as servants of 
righteousness. They like to look like they are good. That's why one minute Beyonce will be singing, Who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Girls, girls. I'm shaking their behind like this. Do, 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 do. Next thing you hear is like, When Jesus said yes, nobody can say no. Who are they being like? Their master. Their end will be what their actions deserve. That's what the scripture ends with there. Next one. Isaiah 14. <laughs> 12 to 14. This is the famous portion of scripture that describes what made Lucifer lose his position in heaven. Mark it. Because that is what we are being tempted with here on the earth. Number one. Verse 12. King James Version is what captures it clearly. Other versions water it down a little bit. It says, how art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning. He is the fallen one. Any musician that keeps talking about fallen one, fallen angel, fallen this, fallen the other, they are trying to take us to love and befriend Lucifer. I'll prove what I'm saying. O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart. He didn't say it aloud. He said it in his heart. I will ascend into heaven. Number two. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will lift myself up above every angel, every archangel, every cherubim, every seraphim. Number three. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. The church of heaven. Mimi nitakuwa boss juyake. Four. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Going the higher levels towards the throne of God. Finally, I will be like the most high. I want to take the place of God. We call them the five I wills. The five I wills, you can find them in each and every celebrity who is not born again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Next scripture. Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. This is what it says. And it's describing Lucifer once again. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus says the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. This is not about the king of Tyrus. This is about Lucifer. You will see as we move on. Ty Tyrus is a type or a symbol of who the devil is here on earth. Verse 13, thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Now we know we have moved to the dimension of heaven. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle and gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee the day that thou was created. Lucifer had musical instruments like what you are seeing here inside him. <laughs> so, Lucifer didn't used to beat drums. He was the drum. Hallelujah. And I chill too if you too I need practice. Yeah, need practice. I need the studio. Yeah, need studio. Are we together? <laughs> Verse 14, he says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He used to cover the throne of God. Hallelujah. And I have set thee so that thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. And then this is what it says. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created until iniquity was found in thee. 
Which means Lucifer was once a clean angel. Hallelujah. So we have to learn from him. What corrupted him? Mpaka Leo, he has no chance of salvation. This is very important for us. It continues, Ezekiel 28, 15 to 18. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast sinned. The first sin was committed in heaven, not in Eden. In heaven. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mount of God. I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thy heart was lifted. Listen to this, all the young ladies in the house. Thy heart was lifted because of thy beauty. Hmm. And then thou hast corrupted thy wisdom. By reason of thy brightness. Alikuwa kingara kabisa like a sunshine. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. It is God who takes credit for excommunicating Lucifer from heaven because of the sin that came because of his beauty, pride, brightness, splendor. 18, he says, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries. There were sanctuaries in heaven that he was in charge of. He defiled them. By the multitude of thine iniquities, his first sin started multiplying one after another. Pride first, lies second, arrogance third, hatred, jealousy, bitterness. <laughs> they, they keep going like that. By the iniquity of thy traffic, mpaka sasa kanza ku campaign, political campaign proper in heaven. Iniquity of thy traffic, therefore I will bring thee forth a fire from the midst of thee, and it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all of them that behold thee. The end of Lucifer is very clear. He will be thrown into the lake of fire. It's written in the scriptures. There's no hope for him. Him and those who listened to him a third of heaven. Now in Revelation chapter 17 verse 3, there's a woman described there sitting upon a scarlet colored beast written with names on top of her forehead, names of blasphemy. Verse 5 to 6 says, the title that was written on her forehead was Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. This is not talking about Koinange Street women. This is talking about spiritual prostitution. Religious prostitution. It says that I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. That religious system is against the church of Jesus Christ. I will give you good evidence. My only concern is the time might not allow me to finish. But I'll give you good evidence. This is Nicki Minaj. She's famous for several songs. One of the most graphic is called Anaconda, where she dances like a snake like that. <laughs> and there's a snake moving around in the water. And, <laughs> and it is terribly provocative in terms of sensuality. It's not something you should even watch. She was given a chance to do the Grammy Awards curtain razor. <laughs> so she did a performance there. She chose to use a Catholic church teaching <laughs> to demonstrate her gifts and abilities. So this is her with a priest behind the confessional door. And she's screaming and the guy's blocking his ears. <laughs> I'll explain what was going on. That is her flashing what is called the open horns of the devil. These are the horns of Ole Saitani Wakemunya done with the fingers. She's very devilish, very devilish, which is why it is very hurtful that she did a collab with Tasha Cobbs, the worship leader who sang There is Power in the Name of Jesus. 
Again, it's still a religious persuasion thing. See? So here in it, she got a guy to dress up like a pope. She tied a rope around him and she was the one controlling the pope. And now she's dressed in a witch's red outfit. She did something that was so, so mysterious. She did a levitation. See, Nicki Minaj and her pope on a rope. Because musicians want to take over the church like Lucifer was trying to take over the sanctuaries of heaven. Are we together? <laughs> Is it making sense? Here is what happened. It was February 13th, 2012. The singer who is known for her outlandish outfits wore a scarlet silk Versace creation which included a dramatic hood and silk gloves. It is thought that the unusual getup which featured a woman's face made from black pearls may have been a reference to her upcoming song Roman in Moscow. She believes she is possessed by five different people. Okay? She says it herself. One of them is called Roman, a homosexual boy. Her voice changes and she becomes Roman and speaks like a man and desires homosexual relations when she is Roman. Are we together? <laughs> These are very demonic people. The religious theme continued in Minaj's performance later in the evening with the singer, listen to this, standing in a pulpit before launching into a rap exorcism, which means casting out of evil spirits from the pulpit with a rap song. <laughs> what? And this saw her levitating. Levitating is leaving the ground by supernatural power, and you float through the room like that. Levitating while speaking in tongues. Hmm. And jumping around against the fiery backdrop as she performed her new single, Roman Holiday. She was accompanied on stage by a gothic church choir who sang a haunting rendition of O come all ye faithful dressed in demonic outfits. Hmm. Such are the musicians we are influenced by through our radios, our internet, and all our social media. She has how many million followers on YouTube, this woman? This is her in Anaconda. You can see the snake there on the side there. Anyone who wants to portray themselves as a snake has the spirit of the serpent in the Bible called Lucifer. This is Miley Cyrus. What is she dressed in? She's trying to look like an angel in white with wings. Why? <laughs> Pastor's daughter, by the way. <laughs> That's her with demonic wings now. This is her and Ariana Grande and Lana Del Rey doing a song called Call Me Angel. Why do they, why are they so preoccupied with looking like being called angels? And yet they are very, very wicked people. Why? This is Rihanna. One of the Grammys dressed like a pope with a mini skirt. Because for her, she always has to be sexy. Always. Lazima mutateswa. Wanaume macho enu lazima ifanye irudi. Lazima. Yeah, koset. Next to her is Miley Cyrus in an angel outfit again. What is this preoccupation about trying to look like angelic beings? I'm a that coffee I pope, which is called the fish hat. If I was to go into the meaning of that hat, you would be so shocked. It's deep idolatry. There she is taking pictures. Rihanna, show us some thigh. Uh -huh. 
This is the Pope having invited Katy Perry to teach a seminar in the Vatican about transcendental meditation. Hmm? <laughs> Do you know what transcendental meditation is? You know yoga? Have you heard of yoga? Those are demonic things. Very demonic. Teaching in the Vatican. The Va <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. This is her doing her own song called Dark Horse, flashing the eye of Lucifer. Na yendi wanaenda kufunza the Vatican. <laughs> wow. Isn't this very, very interesting? But why is it that the Vatican are accepting something like that? Because the Pope's cross here. Right in the middle there, if I can point with this arrow, I don't know whether it will be seen. <laughs> I forgot my laser pointer. But if you can see the arrow there, the middle of it is the pyramid with the eye of Horus on top. On the cross that the Pope carries called the pectoral cross. Kwa hivo ao, na ao musicians, wako kitu kimoja. Donge. Hmm. There's him carrying it with the same fish hat Rihanna was wearing. This is another one, another cardinal. Look at the middle of his kofia at the top there. It is the triangle na jichomoja katikati. Ow, what happened? Oh, it is going to come back. Okay. The next one there is the building. Can you see the triangle and the eye? Is it clear? And we can continue giving piece after piece of evidence. This is Uhuru Park, Nairobi. Cross the road from the Senate into Uhuru Park. The first thing you find on the left is that pyramid. I went and took a picture. It is seated on a Catholic sacrament <laughs> with the letters IHS, Isis, Horus, Seb, the three Egyptian trinity, God, God uh, trinity. And I counted the blocks are 13, just like the one on the $1 bill of America. The top one is different in color, representing the eye, dedicated by Pope John Paul II, 1992, here in Kenya. Is it coincidence? No. In the middle of it, there is a black triangle which has three circles at each corner that are the middle of the number six. This is six, 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 the number of the beast in the heart of Nairobi. This is the dollar bill. One dollar. I have one at home. It has exactly the same thing. That Jay-Z is flashing, that the Pope is flashing, that all these people are flashing. It's religious. It is called Annuit Septus in Latin, which means a new chapter. A Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new secular order is about to begin. Started by the Illuminati. At the bottom of that pyramid, there is the Roman numeral 1776, when it began, the Illuminati, by 13 families. That's why the pyramid has 13 blocks. It has never been removed since 1929 during the stock market crash. They know very well it's a demonic symbol. Nobody is stopping it. Why is that happening? It's because there's an order called the Illuminati who are controlling banking and money groups, secret societies, political groups, intelligence groups, religious groups, and education groups. Are they in music? Yes. Are they in politics? Yes. Are they in cartoons? Yes. <laughs> are they in basketball? Yes. Are they in football? Yes. Are they in cricket? Yes, they are. Are they in everything else, including Hollywood entertainment? Yes. Do we like truth or are we too scared to continue? <laughs> to Kozawa. So what you see in that 
dollar bill is what Jay-Z is doing there. Yeah, for those of you who didn't raise your hands, that is Jay-Z. The richest black actor and musician in America. He's now at $2 billion net worth. Multiply that by 115 Kenya shillings. Any Kikuyu in the house will say, Netwa umira. Okay? So he's, he's so serious about this thing. His, these symbols are full in almost all his albums. Demonic power glorified. So here it is. I compared him, what he's doing, with the dollar bill on a transparency. I compared it just to be sure. And it was exactly that. That's what he was doing. It's a message. It's a gospel of a kind. It is to win over the world to the Illuminati. And he's so convinced he's doing it and he's being successful at it. He even puts it in his songs. I'll give you one of them. Clear evidence. Is that okay with you? So, Michael Jackson used to do the same thing. These two fingers that he has put a bandage on, white bandage. Can you see them? <laughs> yeah, those are the horns of Wakimunya. Jachien. It is Wakimunya who finished him. <laughs> and buried him before his time. Michael believed he was the Messiah, Jesus Christ. That's why in his house, the basement had a painting where he was trying to look like Jesus and the disciples at the Last Supper. So he put himself in the middle. So he's the one there in the middle as Jesus. And the rest are celebrities who are supposed to be looking up to him. Akina Charlie Chaplin, Walt Disney, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, who created the light bulb, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, Little Richard, Elvis Presley. In other words, me and your Munoma and Asina Homa. That is him portraying himself as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Michael Jackson was deep, man. Deep. Somebody said deep. <laughs> <laughs> this is Emperor Hail Selassie, aka Rastafari, the black lion of the tribe of Judah, the first president of Ethiopia. So, if you didn't know where Rastafari came from or Rastafari, undio <laughs> umse, I hope you are not disappointed. That ala undio umse tu na usudu ivi. He was a dictator. He once came to Kenya. That's why there is Hell Selassie Avenue. Do you know it in Nairobi? Yes. So I went to Ethiopia recently, I think 2018. Eh? And I went to visit the Orthodox Church that's called Tewahido with my wife. This is where he used to sit in church. <laughs> Emperor Hell Selassie. He was an Orthodox member. Him and his wife were given special seats at the Holy of Holies of the Church Sanctuary. At the top where nobody else goes except the priest. It is there that he was buried also. That is his casket. <laughs> right kwa pulpit ya kanisa. <laughs> Bronze casket. Now, Migu, if you, I wish you could see carefully. You know, this picture is not very clear. Migu ni Asimba. Because he's the black lion of the tribe of Judah. The fourth person of the Godhead. So there is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Rastafari. According to their Bible, which is called the Holy PB. Is it religious? Yeah. <laughs> Next to his is his wife's casket. Now, scripture is very clear. Thou shalt not worship the dead. These ones are at the holy of holies of the church. <laughs> that is the foot. Look at that. To look like a lion.
Let me tell you a little bit about how the Rastafarians worship in their service. Hallelujah. Rastafari does not have a specific religious building. They are not like Jehovah's Witness who have a, a kingdom hall or Muslims who have a mosque. Rastafaris uh, don't have a religious building that is set aside for worship. Rastafarians usually meet weekly, either in a believer's home or in a community center. They call each other believers. <laughs> the meetings are referred to as reasoning sessions. <laughs> now, here, here is the fallacy. They are for reasoning. The sessions are for reasoning. Lakini communion yao, holy communion ni bangi. Sasa, ukipiga bangi, yenye ku reason ni ngumu. Adi. One of the actresses here was doing that thing very nicely. Alikuanaka me mundi ya kabisa. Even you imagine sasa, muko kwa muko kwa reasoning session. Na wasewa kutu cha cha rastafari. Slam dam 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 di 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 dam. Let's reason now, man. Reason kitu gani? They provide time for chanting. Prayers and singing. Akina Buffalo soja yuana imbanga. Communal issues are discussed. Marijuana may be smoked to produce heightened spiritual states. Ebu piti sa yo kangwai. The music used at these meetings is known as nyabingi, and so when meetings are mostly musical, they are often referred to as nyabingi meetings, and the meetings may also include large feasts. Because when you smoke bangi, njai na ingia. Eh, 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 mi nilikuwa na vuta. Unakula ugali kama hii pulpit. Na bado unawitisha. Kuna ingine, kuna ingine. So that is the Holy PB, their Bible. See? It's religious. Let nobody cheat you. Ati ni dreads, sijui yellow, green, yeah, what, what. Ati ni style too, ni style. Mm-mm-mm. Hii ni culture. Hii ni rules of religion. The dreadlocks that they have are to make you look like the lion because it has a mane. <laughs> hmm? I, I think I shared this. I don't know whether I shared this another time, but it's a, a, a pastor friend of mine. I was preaching in Kangemi. There was a youth conference with about 3,500 youth there. So I mentioned a bit about reggae, what, what, what. So the minister told me, Uli ni kumbusha, siku moja, kuna hapa tu kangemi nilikuwa na ubiri. And then I made an altar call, na jama moja alikuwa na kuja kuwa koka, yenya kwa na dreadlocks. Lakini ya kifika kwa pulpit, migu inatembea, lakini mwili inakataa kwenda mbele. So akikanyaga hivi, mwili inarudi nyuma. Ikakikanyaga hivi, anarudi nyuma, mpaka akafamu semisako, kichwa inaguza. I went to ask him, what is wrong? And the voice told me, my name is Rastafari. He will not get saved. <laughs> that is why, Migui, because I, up to hips. Ingi na iwezi songa ju kichwa ni ya ole saitani wa kemunya, a.k.a. Rastafari. So... So this thing is saying, ah, ah, I was a candy. The guy wants to go, but the spirit is refusing. So this guy understood from the Holy Spirit what's going on. He made the spirit go back into his inner stomach. And he spoke to the guy and told him, listen, you are under the bondage of a Rastafarian demon. You have to renounce it and reject it and cast it out of your life if you are going to come and get saved. The guy said, tell me what to do. <laughs> he was told, Sema, bwana yesu, bwana yesu. Naja kwako, no, no, no. And then he said, now, reject and renounce <laughs> the spirit of Rastafarianism. Alipofanya hivo, pepo ilitoka screaming. Uyo jama alitoka conference, biyo mpaka kinyozi. Kipara. Story ya mapepo kuhishi kwa nyuele angu ishindu. So dreads are meant to mimic the hair of a lion. Rastas attempt to resemble the lion of Judah. Not Jesus, but Rastafari. 
Do you see this blasphemy? Hmm. That is Bob Marley smoking bangi. He used to do it so openly, nobody could arrest him because he's too popular. Even though it is illegal. And because of him, Jamaica legalized it. Bahamas legalized it. The guy has put the world under the spell of bangi. Even here in Kenya, they are trying to legalize it. A musician. By the way, high school dropout. See, Jamati, I have degrees, master's, PhD, nothing. No certificates, nothing. Ata akwa natumia vitu mingi. Won't you help me sing? Kutenga tungu, tenga tunga. The songs of freedom. Kabox guitar too. Is all I ever had. Oh, redemption, song, denga tungu, denga tungu, redemption, and the whole world is following it. Tungu, denga tungu, denga. Box guitar, peke ake. High school dropout, smoking bang. The whole political scenario in Kenya is singing his songs. Oof, this is serious stuff, man. That is him smoking it. <laughs> Na mewaka because he used to come and a pinga ngwai ndio anaimba. Sasa akiwa kwa concert ako juu kama eko dida. <laughs> eko dida lazima aziwashe kwanza. <laughs> ndio aje aseme niko na niko na niko niko na. <laughs> wow 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 wow. So he has popularized this green hub. The hairstyle the guy has left a hairstyle legacy. A smoking drug legacy. <laughs> a colors legacy. Green, yellow and red represent Rastafarianism. <laughs> That's him again, smoking. Allah, what happened? Shetani haachane na hii projector katika jina la Yesu. Because we know he's feeling bad about this. So, hizo 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 coffee ya zina konga zina kaa kama kiondo. Eh? Ya kufunga nywele mingi. Uwe msendi wa meacha. So, kama we unafanga hizo, just know, wewe na Bob Mali muko WhatsApp group moja na wewe ni admin pia. <laughs> Look at this. Ah. <laughs> Do you want to use my projector maybe or what? Okay. In case ikikusumbua sana we just swap. Tuachane na shetani stories zake hizi anakusumbua. It's a very nice projector but there's something going wrong somewhere. I don't know what's going on. Uli come na box yo. So just change. Sawa. Eh to change to. You bear, bear with me a little bit on that one. Ah. Uh, so, so single-handedly, a man inspired by the devil who also inspired heaven to rebel against God has caused the world to love something God hates through music. Listen to what I'm saying. If I'm not reasoning correctly, you can correct me. There are stickers that people wear now that have the leaves of Bangi on top of the colors of Rastafarian religion that are very famous now. Footballers have them, musicians have them. <laughs> Sometimes I see worship leaders having them. <laughs> okay. Make a power yake. Okay. Make a power. Carefully, usiakishe kwanza. And so, so many of us now are influenced by that. Dreadlocks came from Bob Marley. In fact, while I was in Ethiopia, while driving to an area called Bishoftu, where there was a plane that fell, which had several, I think 32 Kenyans, and killed all of them. I was just near that area one week before that happened. And they showed me an area where Jamaicans were promised by Hale Selassie that if they shift from Jamaica 
and come to Ethiopia, he will give them their own land because they believe in Rastafari. When they came, Akawanyima passports and citizenship. So they are there, they have no nation, they can't travel, they are there with long hair, long hair. They look like mad people. <laughs> All they do is eat and drink and smoke bangi, then wait to die and then be buried. That's our reality. In our casa. Okay. Let's, let's hope it will soon start. Okay. Then there's a group that is called Christafari. <laughs> Anyone ever heard of them? Christafari. I'm going to show you their picture. You have to shift it, I think. This way, dog. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope it will work. Okay. Ah, it is even wide eye. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you can see that sticker now? Can you see it? Yes. Ioni leaf 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 yanini. Yeah. In Kenya, please, let me tell you, brethren, young people, please, mutuas kudanganye, this thing is not legal in Kenya. In fact, I have a friend who, his son started getting involved in this while in university. Kumbe hea hajui, mwenya namuzia bangi amemuza kwa polisi. So, see idea following him with the Subarus. Quietly, too quietly. Mahali alienda kuuza. <laughs> Kapatikana. Possession of bangi plus distribution equals 50 years in prison. How many years? <laughs> Chunga sana. <laughs> that is it. Male na bangi. That is Christ of Arai. It's not very clear, but you can see them. Muzungus, Kidogo, uh, they have two ladies and the rest are men. They sing Christian songs but with reggae tune. They dress like Rastafarians. They have dreadlocks like Rastafarians. They, the beat is Rastafarian. And they actually try to mix Jesus with Hail Selassie. <laughs> That's why here you see a lion. <laughs> On one side, half the face. Second side, Jesus. These are things that they wear. Christ Safari. Sound and power. This is one of their themes, again, in one of the albums. A lion growling. <laughs> Original love. Na nyuele imeshikana na nyuele ya Yesu. This is one of the singers saying, should we legalize it or demonize it? So he's advocating for legalizing Bangi, but he's a Christian band worship leader. Wow. Let's talk a little bit about hip hop. Hip hop was begun by a guy called Africa Bambata, but after he finished his journey of seeking the powers that will restore the black man to being God in Zulu, South Africa and Egypt. He had these guys, Rapper's Delight, Sugar Hill Gang. They were doing a song. <laughs> I said, I hate, I hate, I hate. The hip hit with the hip hit with the hip hop, hip 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 hop, a hip, the hip, 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 hip. I looked at this song, I said, This is total nonsense. <laughs> it is about a woman shaking her hips and hopping them. <laughs> hip hop, hip, a hip it to the hop. One of the places is saying, You are rocking to the rhythm and shaking your derrier. Derrier is behind the Amanamuke. <laughs> My time. My time is up. <laughs> Whoa, please, she's just doing her job. 
Well, maybe what you need to do is uh, check with the leadership if we can add a little more time so that we don't cause us. Yes. Yeah, so that to see cause us. Yeah. Um, down there is saying, because all I'm here to do is just wiggle your behind. Can you see that in red? <laughs> That's what the song is about. Twerking. Naita <laughs> twerking. One of the themes that Mavuno Church had for a youth Sunday was twerk kusifu. Twerk. <laughs> twerk kusifu. <laughs> yeah. Mungu <laughs> saidi. Anyway. So this is what is called the Old Testament of hip hop religion. It's called the first book of prayer, the remix, the hip book, hip hop book of prayer or prayer book. It is the Old Testament. So if you thought hip hop is just a style of dancing and sagging your jeans <laughs> and just saying yo yo all the time and yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> in the religion, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Old Testament. New Testament. Okay, that's one of the rappers placing himself in the middle. Last Supper with many hip hop rappers around him, like the disciples again. The hip hop Bible. This is the gospel of hip hop by KRS One. This has now the New Testament of hip hop. And they believe Jesus is not the son of God. He's just a teacher and a prophet. Just like Islam. So if you tell me we are doing holy hip hop in church. What are we doing? Somebody tell me. These are t-shirts that are bought at $9.11. 9 is the number of the old world order. 11 is the wonder of the new world order. So it's $9.11 and it has nine hip hop words that are called hip hop tongues. And they refer to it as catching the spirit of hip hop. So it's written. Ukinunua t-shirt yako unapewa my number zako. I mean uh, letters zako tisa. Sha pa ku ta ma pa. So you have to keep saying sha pa ku ta ma ha. Sha pa ku ta ma ha. <laughs> That's hip hop tongues. If you thought it's not spiritual, they have different colors black, natural, and gray. They are called the Holy Ghost teas. <laughs> so they say, Be caught by the hip hop spirit. Praise God, praise God. This is Lil Wayne. <laughs> He's saying, I am hip hop. <laughs> Do you remember the five I wills? I will arise into heaven. I will ascend above the cloud. Do you remember? <laughs> Notice many of them like to say, I am, to try and take the place of Jesus who said, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. Do you remember? This is a DJ called Cummings. Holy hip hop mixtape. Look at some of the songs that are there. <laughs> like that so. Who you know. Say I won't. Not no slave. Straight talk. Fade away. Only God can judge me. Bury me. <laughs> My God. Still riding against us. Thoughts of thinking. Oosh. Christian hip hop advisory. Life changing music. <laughs> this guy's hoodie at the back has got an Egyptian god on top. Just like I told you, the founder went to Egypt to study Greek, uh, Egyptian mythology. 
So it's a combination of Egypt and Zulu. And then he's calling it crooked tongues. Can you see that, brethren? <laughs> crooked what? Let me tell you, my tongues that I received when I got filled with the Holy Ghost ain't crooked, man. They straight, man. Go in the heaven, man. Somebody who believes in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues say, Amen. Hey. Look at Jay-Z. A song called The Evils, which is really devils. What is he saying? Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Illuminati want my mind, my soul, and my body. This is his own song, brethren. Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Secret society trying to keep their eye on me. Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Illuminati want my mind, my soul, and my body. Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? I can't die. I can't die. I can't die. Because in Illuminati, utakufa before your time. I couldn't understand the mechanics and the workings of the underworld. That is where it came from. Granted, I never prayed to God. I prayed to Gotti. Who is Gotti? He is the boss of the Gambino crime family of New York. Wow. You don't pray to God. You pray to the biggest crime boss of New York. <laughs> what is he saying there? That's right. It's wicked. That's life. I live it. I ain't asking for forgiveness for my sins. Wow. My flesh, no nigger could test. My soul is possessed by devils. This is what these musicians are saying. Hmm. In the form of diamonds and lexuses, the exorcist got me doing sticks like a homie. But now, this higher learning, that is what Illuminati is, higher learning, yani spiritual stuff coming from Lucifer. <laughs> He says, I can't be held accountable. Devils are beating me down, boo. Got me running with guys, making G's, telling lies. That sound true? For the love of money, son, I'm giving lead showers. Stop screaming. You know that demon said it's best to die. And even if Jehovah witness, but he'll never testify devils. Google it yourself. These people are preaching, man. They are evangelizing. <laughs> they want to convert your soul. This is the satanic Bible written by Anton Zandor LaVey. It's a real Bible for devil worshippers. They are serious. They worship like the way we worship. They have communion like the way we have communion. They sacrifice like the way we sacrifice to serve the Lord. But for them, they even do human and animal sacrifices. This is Beyonce. One billion dollars worth. Mudema kona chapawe. A group of Atlantans in Georgia, USA, have begun a church that focuses solely on worshiping none other than Queen Bay herself. The National Church of Bay gathers to sing the former Destiny's Child members hits every Sunday. <laughs> every Sunday when they come, instead of reading the word, they read Beyonce's music and sing it. I'm a survivor. I'm a da na 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 Alafu kwaya inakuja mbele. Creative ministry inakuja. <laughs> Beyonce has achieved not only global fame, but a cult following. Cult means people who are ready to die for her. Loyal. <laughs> this is her portraying herself as Mary and Jesus, but this is her and Blue Ivy, their daughter. This is her being worshipped by people. Look at the way they have raised their hands towards her. And she's trying to pose as the queen of heaven, a term used by Jeremiah. That I would explain if we had time. This is her being hugged by an angel. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is the Babel. There is a whole Babel that's full of her lyrics. 600 songs. It's called the Babel. It looks like a Bible. <laughs> it's what they quote. 
in the in the sanctuary on Sundays they say keep calm and worship Beyonce <laughs> the National Church of Bay registered with 50,000 members already this is her posing as Mary with Jesus's body after it has been lowered from the cross <laughs> trying to take the place of Mary just like the movies where they show Mary receiving the body which is again quite Catholic the person who received the body is Joseph of Arimathea not Mary so it's still a lie see this is her <laughs> in who runs the world girls and there's a lion at her feet in other words JC who is the lion of the tribe of Judah who runs the world who runs the world who runs the world in fact, let me just show you that video. Let me show you something. Yendelea eh? Let me just show you something. I think this is connected to... <laughs> it's connected to... To the sound. Eh? This is her singing. When Jesus says yes, with Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland. This is her praying before a concert with homosexuals. <laughs> Religion. Some of the guys are in underwears, by the way, as they are praying, eh? holding hands. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> no, Jesus, nothing. Lord, in your name. This is who runs the world. This is about girl power. Wanawake wanatawala tena. This is it being played forwards. Then I'm going to play it backwards. Then you see what was really being preached in that song. Kanyaga wanaume. Kwa sababu wao ni mafisi. Unaona hiyo? It's about girl power, girl sensuality, girl sexuality. All those things. In the end times, Satan will deceive mostly through women. Mostly. Just like he did in the Garden of Eden. Reverse. This is what they are really saying. <laughs> Lucifer win the war. Wanna be your people? Evil rules. Evil rules. Lucifer, win the war. It's called back masking. Listen very carefully. Come dance in the war. Come dance in the war. <laughs> this is the church of Beyonce. Beyonce Mass. It's in San Francisco. She bought this cathedral for $75 million. So it's hers. <laughs> Full with a priest, lesbian woman priest, <laughs> choir. 
That's one of her songs. Gays are welcome. Transvestites are welcome. You're surprised because we're seeing Beyonce in church. Holy cow! A homosexual is the one saying that. Ndelea mani si ndele. Tobo yote siyo. Wacha tu seme ukweli mazee. Yote 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 tu tasema katika jina la Yesu. Shetani ashindwe. This is the same thing where a woman has taken the place of Jesus on the cross. Oops, what did I do? I wanted the big version. Uh, IT guys, would you want to say to share the big version? Oh, it's on the big version already. Okay. <laughs> so she, the cross has been brought down. It's broken at the stem. And there is a woman on it who has taken over the place of Jesus in a miniskirt. This one is called Jesus Christ. <laughs> Half naked. A hip hop star called Remy Ma. She's trying to say she paid the price too. These guys are serious. This is Beyonce <laughs> flashing the Illuminati symbol on the dollar bill in what is called the Super Bowl where 300 million people were watching. <laughs> it's called the all-seeing eye. It's the 666 number. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, the triangle, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. 666. This is the trinity of Egyptians. Horus, the father, married his mother, Isis, and had a child with her, Osiris, who is the statue that is given as the Oscar Academy Awards. You remember the one Lupita Nyongo received? That is Osiris. So that's the trinity there. In Hindu teaching, Brahma married his mother, <laughs> Vishnu, or Shiva rather, and what happened there? Adjusting. Ah, yeah. She didn't look at the original guys. Wow. Nani ya kwa wa IT akujia ni saidi. The IT guys. To erudition vile inataka na kuwa. All of a sudden you have no IT people. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Help me. I don't know what it is I have done. Maybe you return it to duplicate maybe. To be safe that way. Thank you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. IT Jaman Hasemi. The last one here is the father, the son, Jesus, Mary, and the Holy Spirit as the dove. Because in Catholic doctrine, they teach that Mary is the blessed spouse of the Holy Spirit. So they actually fall in the Godhead. Now here is Jay-Z, Rihanna, and Kanye West. All flashing the same symbol. <laughs> what song are they singing? Who runs this town? In American slang, who runs the world? That was their song. Full of demonic symbols, if you watch it. This is Rihanna doing a song called Under My Umbrella. Ella, Ella. Eh, eh, eh. Under My Umbrella. Ella, Ella. Eh, eh. When I did a little research, I discovered she's repeating Ella, Ella, Ella. E double L A because E L is the name for God. Elohim. El Gibor. 
El Shaddai. Hallelujah. So you have, you've heard that. There's even some secular guys who've sung. Say, El Shaddai. So you know your song. <laughs> so it's El is God. La in Arabic is no. So she's repeating and saying, No God, no God, no God, no God, no God. Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> are we together? Very clear people. They know what they are doing. This one is called Justin Bieber. One of his concerts, he lands like a fallen angel. Does that sound familiar? In white, with wings. Can you see him? Son of a Canadian pastor. Yeah? Whose song, I think, is number four. The one that's called, that is called Hello or something. Where two women are just doing this all the time. <laughs> it's at six billion views on YouTube. <laughs> And this is someone who one time he was in, I don't know, India or where. And uh, people came to gather at the hotel, the balcony. Justin Bieber, Bieber. Because girls, when they see him, I don't know what happens. Wana ngoa nyueles, jui nini. Wana tupa bikini. Kai, God have mercy. So him, he comes out to the balcony. He says, I love you guys. I love you. 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 I love you, my fans. I love you. <laughs> These are the people that teenagers love. Travis Scott with wings. <laughs> Just last year, November, Astro World, people ran into his concert. Waka, waka, waka kuwa so many waka overpower wale wajama wakulipisha waka pita through. And at the entrance is a statue of his head with the mouth open. Ah, like that. <laughs> and people are running through and it's written at the top, see you on the other side. Mm. <laughs> and then he sings his songs. <laughs> he sings his songs. <laughs> and somewhere along the line, people are too many. Mpaka unasquiziwa, mpaka unainuliwa ju. Imagine uko kwa concert na uko kwa hewa. <laughs> Where's it Pumua? What was the movie? Unaenda tu. Unaenda tu. What was Kanza Kukufa? Breath in Aisha. I can't breathe. Moja Kakufa. Mungina Kakufa. Mungina Kakufa. People started screaming. People are dying. People are dying. Stop the concert. Do you want to get some Ziki? Ten people die. 300 in hospital, some of them hospital until now. <laughs> Let me show you what he was copying so that you understand what we are dealing with here. Oh my, I need your help again, my brother. <laughs> I've shifted to another PowerPoint slide, it's not reflecting. You can use the mouse if you want. I want to go to another PowerPoint slide there. Yeah. I don't know why it went to this mode, your slide. Duplicate in Akwangasawa, I don't mind people seeing what's going on. No, 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 fashion, fashion. No, fashion. I haven't even I had opened it. Where has it gone now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I'm losing my precious time. But uh, ah. all right, so down, 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 down. It's on the kind of quality. Are you on your ship? So what could I do? Slideshow. Oh, you'll have to go to slideshow. Yeah. Okay, that's him. Okay. 
put it slideshow. Yeah, very good. Usikai Bali, please. We need to do teamwork here. So this is uh, the guy, eh? Travis Scott. You can see his hairstyle. Ameshukwa kama msichana. Ameekwa tattoos. Kwa kichwa, mevaa mindira. Sorry, uh, earrings. <laughs> That's him. Oops. Sasa, I the next picture.